You guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Steve. Allow myself to introduce myself. Yeah. And behind me is my latest creation. This channel started as a vlog. It's still a vlog, but it's winter outside. That's why the door is closed. And I've just been building things, learning things. And I decided to make a carbon fiber hood for my Civic that ironically also needs an engine. It doesn't even run. And the hood officially exceeds the value of the car. Before we go any further, I do have to say the hood is not finished. I just, I'm super excited to show you guys it. I do plan on marketing them and sell Supply and demand, my selling them somewhere down the road. I do have a few more things I need to work on with it. For example, if you guys have any ideas on how to finish the hood between the glass and the carbon fiber, it would be greatly appreciated because I just, I don't know how to finish it. But uh, well, any further ado, let's check this thing out. Drum roll, please. And this, guys, is the carbon fiber hood I made that I split with glass. This is polycarbonate, same as Lexan. It's, uh, I wouldn't say bulletproof. Oh my God. Well. But it is very, very strong. Uh, the guy sold it to me even said you'd have to get in a head-on collision with another car to break it. It's nice and solid. It is polishable. To a certain extent, if you guys remember, video games back in the day were made of polycarbonate and they would snap and break. Kind of the same idea. It's five mil thick, though it is quite thick. Um, I did go with hood pins. So, do you remember the old hood? Uh, the old hood had kind of garbage, ugly hood pins in it. Small button style ones. I also did shave off the latch and the hood prop. Should you be buying one of these hoods, there is no latch or hood prop. Uh, so you do have to run hood pins, and then you end up getting a gas shock. Shock that would look like this, and you just have your little nubs on either end. You just hope that when you order it, they send you all the hardware, like the guys that I got these from. A little about the hood, other than the Lexan or polycarbonate. Lexan's a brand. The example I use like Kleenex, there's a million brands of Kleenex. You can tell I was working on it recently. I'm still wearing my gloves. I was just pumped to show you guys. And this is two by two twill carbon fiber. And then underneath the structure side, we'll get into that. But I want to show you guys the party trick. Let's imagine you're cruising along, it's nighttime. Cool is that? I think it's super cool. You can literally wire it into your headlights. I just have it running off the battery right now. As mentioned, I just don't know how to finish between the glass and the hood. I hammered some plastic up on there just for the video. I'll peel it right off. Actually, to be honest with you guys, I was already starting to peel it off up there. But uh, this just has a D-series in it with a turbo. It does not run worth a shit. It bangs and knocks and smokes and does all kinds of stuff. That said, this is the hood. I wonder what you guys think. Is this cool? I know it's sort of been done before, but other guys just like literally screw a piece of Lexan to the top of a carbon fiber hood. I'm gonna show you something. As an example, this is the hood I took off the car. It weighs about 35 pounds without a uh, center in it. These are the hood pins that came in it. I use this as a plug, that's why there's tape all over it. Now, here's the funny thing. When you buy cheap carbon fiber, for those that don't know, this, although, although very dirty, although has carbon fiber appearance to it, on this side is actually fiberglass. So this is literally like four layers of fiberglass with one layer of carbon fiber. And if all you're after is the look of carbon fiber, cool, probably could save some money and just wrap the car instead. That's this hood. This hood with the glass is 17 pounds, one seven. I don't know how much stock hood is because I don't have one. If I end up getting my hands on a stock hood to weigh, I'll let you guys know. But this is the stock hood. I did put these little buttons on here, right? and you just push them and the hood opens. 17 pounds, look at this, one finger, completely effortless. There's the light I put in there. Now I wanna show you guys, I did get rid of the latch under here, see the glass. Um, I did, however, only run the structure about two thirds of the way up. And the reason being, as I got thinking about it, number one, the mold sucks to work with, with all the shapes. But number two, this structure was built for a 50 pound hood. It's not gonna be a make or break on a hood that weighs 17 pounds. The structure is made of, I have uh, 600 gram carbon in there, and then I have the two by two twill on there. The reason I went with the 600 gram is just it's cheaper and easier to work with. I'm running three layers of standard carbon and considerably cheaper. Look at, watch this, closed, goes like that. It does need these put on it. Unfortunately, I don't have any hardware to go with it. Guys, I wanted to show you, wanted to jump on here, make a quick little video. I'm gonna upload the video after this of how I actually made the hood, which is, far more interesting, but it's like three hours of footage and it's gonna take some time to make. Drop me a comment though, I'm curious if you guys think this should be finished around the edge. There has to be something. I originally had nothing, I'll put the picture here. That was just uh, the epoxy put down. Then I got thinking maybe I should have painted the glass before I put on the epoxy, but it still doesn't have a clean look to it. 
So I do need to come up with something for that. So this is the first one I've done like this. The second one will be considerably better. And I think this one's pretty good. You could market this hood quite easily. That said, you guys, let me know what you think. I'm going to grab a quick montage of it before I let you guys go. Just want to say thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. The next video will be the upload of how I made this hood. And it's actually, I think you guys are going to be interested. It's super cool. Thanks for watching.